Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm obviously gonna be organizing our master bathroom, specifically the vanity and the linen closet. They are both in desperate need of organization. It's been neglected since we moved in a couple years ago and I just can't stand it anymore. So if you are interested in how I organize, give this video a thumbs up and keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well because I'm gonna be having more cleaning videos coming your way. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna show you what the closet and vanity look like before. It's really bad. There's no sense of organization whatsoever. I'm actually kind of embarrassed to even show you this just because it's just a complete disaster. I will say everything in the closet is mine, so I am obviously to blame for the disaster that's in this closet. So obviously the master bathroom is one of the rooms you go into when you first wake up in the morning. It's where you go and get ready for the rest of the day, so I think it's really important to have a nice, clean, and organized space just to start off your day. So to start off, I am just going to declutter the entire vanity, take everything out on the counter that I wanna keep, and while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna get rid of everything that has either expired or that I don't want anymore. So I obviously haven't cleaned out this drawer in quite some time. I keep all of my hair products in this drawer and the amount of hair that was in this drawer was absolutely disgusting. So around four months postpartum, I had really bad postpartum hair loss, like to the point where I didn't even think I would have any more hair left on my head. It was terrible. Let me know in the comments below if you also had a really bad postpartum hair loss, just so that I know that I'm not the only one who experienced this. So now that all the cabinets and drawers are completely cleared out, I'm gonna take these disinfecting wipes and really wipe down all the areas just to make sure it's really nice and clean. So I had previously put these liners in each of the drawers. These are from Ikea and I believe they're in the kitchen section. And I just think it's really important to line each drawer just because it keeps the area nice and clean and prevents the area from any water damage. I had not done this under the sink prior to water damage and I wish I would have because of the damage that occurred. So I really recommend getting some sort of liner just to line all your cabinets and drawers just so that they're in nicer shape for a lot longer period. So I got these drawer dividers from Aldi. They were a three pack for $10 a piece. They're really nice and sturdy and they actually click together so they don't um, move around inside your drawer. So I think these organizers are really important. They were really cheap and affordable and just really make such a difference in your drawer on the organization process. You can just see everything nice and clear. I actually like these dividers a lot because you can clip them together so they don't move around inside the drawer, but the only thing I don't like is that you can't change the dividers and um, change the sizes of things, so it's kind of set to that size, but that's okay, you can work with it.
this drawer I dedicated for all of my makeup. I don't know why, but I usually just would carry my makeup in a bag like this, but I feel like it's just easier to keep things out in a drawer. I can see everything nice and clear. So this drawer was perfect for that. I don't have a lot of different types of makeup. I just kind of wear the same thing every single day. So I was able to fit everything in this drawer and keep it nice and neat. like I have a ton of makeup brushes and I do however I just recently purchased a whole new set so here I'm just combining all of my brushes together but I will at some point go through all and see exactly what I need and get rid of all the old brushes so these bins right here are from five and below they were only three dollars a piece and they actually fit perfect in these bottom drawers because they're nice and deep and I'm able to keep all of my face cleansing products in these drawers I like that I don't have to lay the products down and I can actually face them standing up so I don't have to worry about the products spilling all over the place. So these bins right here are from the container store. I have three of them stacked on top of each other and I think the total was about $27 for this. I know you can find an option like this cheaper at like Target or Walmart, however, I couldn't find the exact size I needed. I needed something that was narrow and deep to fit under this cabinet under the sink and these were the perfect size to do so. I ended up putting all of my hair products in here and I just thought this was an easy solution since these are products that I use daily and they're just really easy to get to under the sink. So in this top drawer, I like to store my makeup remover towel and my face towels. I like to use dark colors because you don't see all the makeup and dirt that comes off. And I like to hang them up on this towel rack right here on the inside of the cabinet in the morning or at night when they're wet just so that they can dry. So here you just see me, I'm doing the exact same thing to my side of the vanity, to my husband's side of the vanity. I'm gonna clear everything out, put everything on the counter, get rid of everything he doesn't need or that has expired, and then just wipe off the inside with the disinfectant wipes. So now I'm moving on to the linen closet. I did the same process I did with the vanity in the closet. I just took everything out, put it on the floor, but as I was going through everything, I was getting rid of everything that either expired or that I didn't want anymore. So 
now that the closet's empty, I thought the easiest way to start the organization process was just to put all of the baskets and bins that I bought for the closet inside when they were still empty. That way I could arrange things how I wanted to arrange them and then that way I knew what products I'd put in which bins depending where they were located in the closet. So obviously the things that I use on a daily basis I would put down lower so they're more accessible and things that I didn't use on a daily basis I would put up higher. So now that I have all the bins and baskets organized in the closet the way I want them to be, I'm going to start taking them out and filling the baskets. So like I said earlier, the things that I'm going to use more often or more on a daily basis, I'm going to keep in the bins towards the bottom so they're easy accessible. And then the things that I don't use as much, I'm going to keep those in the bins that are up higher. and that is it. So I will go ahead and walk you through what I have in each drawer and cabinet. So starting on my side of the vanity under the sink, I have my small trash can and behind that I have my large shampoo and conditioner that I have extra of. And then over to the left I have those three drawers that I already showed you before. On top I decided to keep my straightener and the straightening pad just because it's something that I use daily so it's easy to get to. Over on the far left I kept my little handheld mirror. And then going through the drawers, on the first drawer I decided to put, like I said before, my black towels. And like I said earlier, on the door I like to keep a towel rack and I will use those towels at night or in the morning to wash and dry my face. And then I'll just hang them up so they can dry so the next time I use them they're nice and dry. In this middle drawer I kept my styling products and some hair products that I don't use daily but will use occasionally, especially after a shower. And then in the last drawer, I just keep the hair products that I use pretty much on a daily basis. So moving along to the drawers, in the top drawer I decided to put the things that I use on a daily basis, day and night, just because I use them so often and they're easy to get to. So in this next drawer is my makeup drawer. I decided to get everything out of the bag that I've been using for years and just put it in this drawer. And I really like the solution. I can actually see all the makeup that I have. I'm able to use makeup that I actually haven't used in quite some time because it wasn't something that was in the very top of my bag for me to use. So I really like that I was able to organize all my makeup products into this drawer. So hopefully I will be using all of my products and not wasting anything. And it's all just kind of laid out right in front of me so it's easy to see. And then lastly, in this bottom drawer, I put all of my face products in here. And like I mentioned earlier, I like that they can all be standing and not tipped over to their side and risking them spilling all over the place. I kept my um, Clarisonic and then my Clarisonic charger and my toothbrush charger here in the back too. So now onto my husband's side of the vanity. He didn't have nearly as much stuff as I did, so his side took me hardly any time at all to organize. Um, I won't really explain everything that I have in each drawer, but I'll just go ahead and show you how I organized it. Okay, so on to the linen closet. I am really happy with the way this turned out. This closet was an absolute disaster and it looks so nice and clean and organized now and I just, I love it. So here at the bottom, I like to keep a hamper separately for our towels. All of our towels are white, so it's just really easy when the um, hamper fills up, I can just take it straight to the laundry room and bleach them all and not worry about something accidentally being thrown in there that's non-bleachable. 
So on the next shelf here, I have to the far left my curling wands and blow dryer. In the second bin, I just have like kind of a catch-all for extra razors, toothbrush, toothpaste, contact solution, stuff like that. And then in the last bin, I have my overnight bag. So things that I would use to put my bathroom supplies in for overnight stays. This next shelf, I have all of my nail polish and like nail accessories in. We have a bunch of towels right here. And then in the last basket, I have my Velcro rollers in. In this basket, I just kind of have my pads and tampons, obviously things that I don't use on a daily basis, but they're still there for when I need them. And then lastly, on the top shelf, I just have some extra toilet paper and some cleaning products. That way I don't have to run around the house trying to look for cleaning products to clean the bathroom. All right, guys, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really good time actually taking the time to focus on this bathroom and finally getting it clean and organized the way it should be. If you want to see more cleaning and organization videos, please hit subscribe. I have a lot coming in the future. There's so many things and ideas that I have in my head right now that I want to get done. So hit subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And if you made it all the way till the end, thank you so much for watching the entire video. It really means a lot. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.